Welcome to add some pizzazz to your list pages with views. Hey, I'm Eric. And um, one of the great things that recently came to Business Central is the ability to, to define a view. And, and what is a view? Well, a view is a personalized version of a, of a page where you have applied some filters or you have applied some personalizations and um, users are loving this. Uh, when I visit virtually uh, my customers, uh, I see tons of views. People save their filters as a view and use that all the time. But we actually have the ability to define views in AL. So if we know that we know certain filters are great, certain combinations are what users will want, we can actually add the views in AL. So we kind of are able, not kind of, we are able to give our users a much better list page experience and also perhaps fewer list pages um, because we don't have to create four different list pages to give the user four different views because we can just use views. But how does it work? Let's get into that. Here is Visual Studio Code. I just created a new project and um, I guess we will, we will need a list page. So I will use the AL file wizard from a set al dev tools to create myself a page if you haven't used this add-on it's an awesome add-on uh al asset this guy uh andreas cannot recommend this enough this is lifesaver um anyway so let's call this customers with bizas lots of sets uh, we'll have the custom table and this have, will be a list and we add some list. Oh, hang on. Applications area, acre all and use categories lists. There we go. We don't need tool tips. And let's get a lot of fields here. Let's start with the, you know, number, name, mobile phone. Well, oh, name. Uh, address, uh, how about a, uh, you know, a city, a county, um, country, uh, something like this, post and posting group perhaps, and let's move the phone number down a bit. Uh, let's get rid of, I will do this later. Um, how about also an email? Okay, uh, we'll just move that phone number down somewhere here. So now we have a list and let's just deploy this and see how it goes. So the, the, the file wizard creates a nice page for us. And we can see how it looks, looks fine. And it works of course with views. So we could go in here and define a view. Uh, through the filter pane and all that good stuff. But if we go back to AL, let me show you what we can do. So if we go down to the bottom of the layout here, and then we can actually specify views. And what options do we have here? Well, we only have the option to add a view to views, which is pretty good. So view needs a name. So we can call this bizaz one what, do, what properties do we have? Well, we have a caption, so uh, we could do, you know, do one called extra pizzas. And now we have some options. We could, we could, actually, let's call this one just for you. Know, so let's call this one blocked customers. And then we can say filters equal uh, and well, how do we need to specify filters? We need to do them as a where clause, right? So we where blocked, where parentheses blocked. Wow, 
equal uh, filter um, what are we going to do shoot all wow all inverse and ship how about that so now we have to find a view which is basically just a filter so just like what customers would do let's try to deploy this and check kill this one uh, let's actually block a customer. I'm not sure we have any customers that are blocked. This one clearly deserves to be blocked. Or not? Wow. Oh, we didn't de define a cart on this one. Well, that was sloppy of me. That was sloppy of me, but we can, let's just go to the normal customer list. And um, block this guy really quick. Invoice. Can dox a Canada, whatever that is. Oops, we got a breakpoint. Oh, see, this is something from another video that comes back to hit us. Isn't that funny how that works sometimes? Isn't that funny how that works? Now I'm gonna block this guy. Okay, so now we have a block customer, so we go and look here, the new view, and we only get that one. So, so right out of the gate, we used used. That's wrong. Let's get rid of that thing. You know, we added a view, a couple of lines here, and then hey. Now you can see your block customers. Um, but maybe maybe when, when we're looking at block customers, we really want to see some other columns. So that's an option we have. So if we go back here, debugger is gone. You can see that we have, we have the option of changing the sorting if we want that. Um, but we also have the option to specify layout changes. And you can see as soon as I say layout, we get say, oh, you can't do that. Because right now, uh, this view is sharing layout with the raw page. So we need to go in and say share layout equal false. So now we can mess with the layout. And, and the way this actually works, is that think about this section as a page extension. Meaning that let's, if we go look and say, okay, I'm not interested in, in the address or the city or the province. In this case, I could go and say, modify address visible equal false, modify city. visible equal false and then I want to move uh, so move after number I want to move the phone field let's see if we can find number here in the right way something like that so now we have told that take what we have but apply a page extension that remove two columns and moves another one around. So if we deploy this, then we have a normal view. We're going to say block customers and I get a different view and a different filter. So this is still the same object, right? Uh, but now we have the phone number up here because we want to call them right away if they're blocked or whatever the use case is. Um, and as you can see here, we are lacking the ability to add stuff. So we cannot add new columns to, uh, to the view because, so if we, if we were to, because 
that, that was, okay, let me start over. You cannot add a, a new column to a view because the field you would add is not part of the data set. So in order to make a field part of the data set, you will have to add it up here. And uh, what do we want to add? We might want to add the, the price group for some weird reason. We're adding the price group, but um, making it not visible. And then we will create another why is my mouse weird today? We create another view here. Uh, Bizaz to caption equal customers with price groups. Um, and we do filters again saying where customer price group uh, equal high on equal filter different from blank and then shared layout equal false and then we will lay out and say modify customer price group visible equal true and then let's actually just go in here and go to customers again can't remember if there's anyone in the demo database that actually has a price group. Uh, but groups one. Well, how about that? That should work. And maybe we'll hit the the problem from the other extension that we're running saying that you cannot okay let's try this so we've got customers customer price groups and then it was probably we should have moved the where is the customer price group didn't i so we clearly got the custom of the price group, but we did not get the column. What did I do wrong? Uh, custom price group, custom price group. Interesting. Any reason this shouldn't work? Let's actually try to do a double modify and say, move first. Uh, let's actually say move after number and then do customer price group. Try this again. Let's see if that made any changes. Custom price group, there it is. Um, so suddenly we have the the option to, you know, to have a view that is morphing into multiple views, but you only have have to maintain one object, and especially if you know there's different actions and stuff like that. Instead of having users to go and open different lists or to find a function you can, you can just use the same object um, and there's nothing preventing users from going in come on and and creating their own Uh, their own their own version of 
another view that you so you have created a view but then this crazy user here is suddenly make making the, his own copy of your view um so i think this is pretty cool and i am sure that i'm not using this enough i uh, I'm, I'm i'm really surprised how well users have taken the concept of uh, um, of the views uh, and how they're applying it. And I truly want to support my customers uh, in, in, in giving them views. Um, so also in my apps, if it makes any sense, make sure that that we add the value of views. It, it's, a, it's a low effort to give a high, high impact uh, for customers so let me know in the comments below if if you're using views how you're using them if you're adding them like i have done here in the video or if you want to do this or if you don't want to do it let me let me know why uh, anyway that's it for uh, for views with pizzazz uh, until next time have a wonderful day stay safe and i'll see you soon